Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to use any transition for your picture and picture videos here. So in this one here, we used a circle kind of going down. But we have a whole list of transitions here that we could actually use a mosaic, use a cube, you can do a swap over type thing. But the only limitation is it's not the most optimal because you can actually see the black background when it's doing the transition if you don't put a little fade on it and a dissolve. So there's a little bit of a, you can see the darkness of the actual frame of the video. But I think if you're okay with it, it's, it's kind of a, something you can kind of mess around with and do. So basically the steps for doing this are as follows. You got to go do a new project, create a new movie, bring your video clip down, whichever you want to use as your picture in a picture in your main movie. So let's shrink this up a little, make it a little bit smaller. So we got your video here. This is what's going to be the picture in a picture in your main movie. So it's a two step process. And now you pick the transitions that you want or transition that you want. But let's throw a mosaic in the front and we'll throw a, a spin out at the end. Yeah. So at this point you're done. We need to export this. And once we're finished exporting it, we're going to bring it into our main movie. So basically just go to the top right corner, export file, you know, call it PMP 222 or something like that. Make sure it's, you know, the quality you want it. But for this example, we'll just leave it as it is. And we'll go next. We'll save it on our desktop. Wait for iMovie to do its business here. Should be pretty quick. Okay. So now we'll go back to our main project here. I think it's this one here. And let me delete these ones that are already here. Actually, I'll leave that one there. Let me delete this one. Okay. So now I'm going to go import this piece of media. Import media. It's on my desktop. And I called it PMP222. We'll import that. And there it is right there. It has that mosaic in the beginning and the spin out the end. So now just drag it down above your, your video clip. So go ahead and select the clip. Go to this first icon here, the overlays icon, overlay settings. Click that. You're going to go to picture in a picture. And now iMovie is going to put it into a picture in a picture for you. So you can resize it all you need to. And I would kind of stay with the dissolve. And the reason I'll show you in a second. So if I undo the dissolve, we see this black background here. Yeah. But if we put the dissolve back in for a little bit, it kind of fades that black out so it's not too noticeable. It's not too abrupt. And that's basically how you do different transitions in your picture in a picture. Of course, iMovie does come with dissolve, zoom, and swap, which I, you know, to save time, I always use zoom. It's my favorite one. Zoom or zero transition, which means you would do dissolve and you'd bring these little tools all the way to the end so there'd be nothing. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we need that little bit of dissolve fade at the end so we don't see the abruptness of the black background. And that's basically it. So the steps are figure out what you're going to use for a picture in a picture. You're going to do a brand new project. And let's go back to that project here. I believe it's this one. Yeah, you're going to do a brand new project. You're going to pick whatever transitions you want on it. You know, if you want that cube, if you want the mosaic, or if you want the wipe. And once you get the transitions you like and, you know, kind of looks the way you, you want it to, you're going to export it. And then once it's exported, you're going to open up your main movie and you're going to just bring it back in by either, you know, multiple ways. You can drag it in. You can go to file, import media, whatever way you need to get it in, you can do that. So that's basically how you do it. I'm not sure how much I would use it. I would probably most likely just open up Final Cut Pro and do it there. But again, Final Cut Pro is 299 bucks. So if you don't have it, then you know you you work around it. And that's I think this is a pretty good solution for working around that. Okay, I think that's it for today's video. As usual, don't forget thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. I'm thinking about doing a little a little giveaway soon, so make sure you are subscribed. Hint, hint, hint. And I'm probably gonna be giving away a Mac Mini. But I'm kind of waiting to see what Apple does with the newer version of it. So just, you know, make sure you're subscribed and you kind of follow the videos and you'll, and you'll see in the not too distant future, whenever Apple decides to release some new Macs, 
and I'm definitely gonna be most likely giving away a Mac Mini or maybe an, a MacBook Air, but I haven't quite decided. I'm a big fan of Mac Mini, so that's probably what I'll lean toward. Okay, anyway, see you next time. As usual, peace and aloha.